What's going on guys? My name is Jeffrey Rodriguez and in today's video we're going to be talking about five tips to help you with back testing your charts. If you're new to this channel guys I post daily educational videos as well as weekly analysis videos so make sure to hit that subscribe button right below this video to the right hand side and with that being said guys let's go ahead and get right into this. Number one keep it real. So what that means is you're, you want to treat this as if it's really happening. So you're not going to want to backtest your charts and find a trade setup and actually not act as if it's real. So you want to take it serious, treat it as if you're actually taking the trade. So something a lot of people forget, especially with trading, is they think they know everything from watching all these videos and learning all this stuff, but they're not actually implementing the things that they're learning in the charts and the main thing that you should be doing is back testing because that's the actual work that's required for you to get the information that you need in order to succeed in this business. All right guys, number two, start from the left and work to the right. So all this means is you're never gonna wanna start with where the chart is currently at and go backwards. You're gonna wanna start from a beginning point, so scroll left in your chart, and then by doing that, you're gonna be working from left to right. So just like you, you would do most things, you're gonna be scrolling all the way back on your chart, and then from there, you're going to simply find the trade setup that you would take, and then see what happened after the fact. That's gonna be on the right-hand side of your chart. You need to make sure that you're working from left to right. All right, guys, number three, really important. Have a plan for your entries as well as your exits. So this is really important because by planning your entries, obviously you know where you're going to enter the market, but you have to have a plan for your exits. So if you're wrong, this is where you're going to get out. If you're right, this is where you're going to get out. But a lot of people actually forget to plan their exits and are always worried about where do I enter. But the key thing to realize is focus on where the market's going, not where the market's at. And by doing that, then you just look for your entries based off of that. All right, guys, number four, never change your rules. A lot of people want to adjust their rules. A lot of people want to adjust their rules based on what happened in the chart. And they're like, oh, if I adjust this one thing, then it would have worked. Or it didn't work because uh, there was only two things missing from my rules that didn't happen. Don't break your rules to make a trade work. The whole point of this is to actually find trades that meet the criteria that you're looking for, right? Your plan or your rules. And by doing that, you're developing discipline for yourself as a trader to never take trades that don't meet your rules. For any of you out there that don't have a set of rules yet or don't have a plan, make sure to click the link below. I've included a link to my trading plan. So all you have to do is just enter your email address and hit download now and I'll email you a copy of my exact trading plan and that's the same rules that I follow on a day-by-day -day basis whenever I'm placing my entries or my exits. Alright guys, so tip number five is market replay and this is something that you may not know about if you don't use TradingView and it's a really cool thing to use especially for back testing because you can actually cancel out the data that happened already. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what I mean real quick and if we hop onto TradingView we can click this replay button at the top right here and once we do that this red line appears and then we can just scroll back at any point on our charts so say we want to analyze from the the red line delineates the left and the right right so we're working from the left to the right so we want to say we cut it off right here as this low formed okay so we don't know that the market traded higher because this is what we see now, right? So then I would go in here and back test and I would figure out what are the reasons that the market started finding some support here and started trading higher. Once you've done this, then you can hit this play button right here. And what will happen is the market will actually start playing candle by candle, whatever time frame you're on, whether that's an hourly, daily, four hour, it'll play snippet by snippet so you can see what actually happened in the chart and whether or not your strategy worked or not. So this is a really cool feature with TradingView. Again, if you guys want to use TradingView or anything, uh, there is a link below in the description, so you can click that, and that they have like a free trial, I believe, that you can use. Uh, but yeah, that's a super cool feature to use for backtesting. All right, guys, so that's it for today's video. If you feel like you've got some value from this video today, please leave a comment as well as a thumbs up, and I will see you guys in the next video. After this track, I might need me some lozenges. I ain't about to go soft. This rapping shit lately been pissing me off. 
Guess these words are kind of just at the tip of my tongue But I'm still young and I hope I find the rhymes that'll live through time Before that fat lady has sung Cause when I'm inside this blue Feels like I rule the world But I'll hop off my horse, hop in your Porsche, give it a